Today, we have three players from the Indianapolis Indians coming to the Indiana Historical Society to look at Negro League player memorabilia and historical artifacts. And today we have Cal, Aaron, and Kanan. I'm Susan Hall Dotson. I'm the African American Collections Curator here at the Indiana Historical Society. The clouds were a little different. They added a whole lot of entertainment beyond just playing straight baseball, if you will. Um, but they were serious players. They weren't just entertainers, but that was just an extra element that was added to the clowns. It was always suggested that the black players weren't good enough to play in the majors, but that you know was not true. And in some cases were so much better. So there's some books that you could read um, so I'm not going to cite exact text, but where there were players that were just as good, if not better, than say Babe Ruth, but not ever given the chance to get on the field to play. So those are the shoulders upon which both you and I stand to be able to do what we do today. I, I didn't know, you know, this much history was in Indianapolis and, you know, it's just, you know, it, it speaks a lot to what a lot of people have done in the past um, everywhere in this country to promote this game and, you know, they just want an opportunity to play the game they love and, you know, I'm just happy that I can do the same thing and just carry on their legacy. You know, they paved the way for us so I'm just blessed to be able to play this game and to be here where there's so much history. Doing stuff like this is a good reminder of just like Absolutely. where we've come from in the past and people that have sacrificed to get where we're at. But sometimes like the rush of everything because, you know, baseball, you know, it gets stressful. So like mm -hmm. doing stuff like this halfway through the season kind of like lets you take a step back and realize it's just like all these guys and women, you know, sacrificed a lot yeah. for us. So it's, yeah. it's humbling. It's amazing how much they have sacrificed for us, you know, in this game, for me to be able to put on the uniform and go out there and play and not even think about, sometimes I don't even think about it. I just go out there and just play. And, you know, for them, it wasn't just go out there and play. They were playing for something. They were playing, they were playing for me, you know? And so after seeing this, you know, every time I put on that uniform, I'm gonna be thinking about the sacrifices they have made for me to be able to put on the uniforms. They persevered. So because of them, there's you. Because of... Then there was mm. Hank Aaron. So the short time that he played with the clowns elevates the notoriety, if you will, the influence of the clowns, mm -hmm. so that we remember the clowns. And it's Absolutely. incumbent upon me as a historian and mm -hmm. you as a players to pay homage, celebrate, and remember, and share. How do we move the game forward? I think we just have to just you know, stay active, you know, having, keeping the game fun. You know, when you see guys like Tim Anderson now, you see guys like Mookie Betts, man, it's, you know, they're having fun and watching them, uh, you know, they motivate me because I want to be just like them. And so I'm hoping I'll see, you know, hopefully a little black kid or black female, black girl in the stands. Hopefully they'd be like, I want to be like Kanan or Cal or Fletch or Tucker, you know, so just, Representing, representing ourselves and our in the game, right? You know, encouraging, encouraging young ball players to who are maybe thinking about it or don't know because maybe none of their friends are playing, just to give it a shot. You know, it's a obviously it's a fun game. We all love it, uh, but yeah, you know, just 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 trying to find ways to give to give equal opportunity to be on the field. It's tough. You know, of course, logistically speaking, but um, it can be done. And I, you know, I think it's trending that way. Baseball seems to be moving slow with it, um, but it's trending the right way. You know, baseball's a business, and it's turned into, you know, expensive equipment and all these things. And you know, it's kind of geared, you know, certain people away from the sport. And you know, that's that's not good because you know, obviously, like someone would love the game, but they don't have the financial like ability to play the game. And so. You know, that's where I think, you know, we should be able to come in and be able to help someone that really wants to play the game or just be there and just show them. It's just like, hey, like, we made it. We know you can too, you know. You love the game and you put in the time and everything and, you you know, you could be right here with us and you can be at the big league stage and all that. And so that's that's what I think is important, just being able to show that to the community and these, these kids that it's, it is possible. So.